Hey guys, so this is an instructional chest and bicep, uh, chest and tricep video. So I started off with some shoulder rotations, just basically getting your blood flow in your shoulders. Um, I do this for every upper body, um, every upper body day that I have. I make sure to warm up my rotator cuff, which is uh, a very, it's a primary uh, muscle that you're going to be using when you're doing your using your back or your chest for any movements. Um, so make sure you warm that up. And then I moved on to some pull-ups, which I always do. I think body weight strength is very key. You need to be able to lift your own weight as well. Um, people just focus on lifting more and more weight and adding weight to their plate. They don't know uh, that the importance of lifting their own weight. So make sure you add that. In the, like at the beginning of your workout, do about six to eight reps of pull-ups. I think it's um, a beautiful start. Gets you a good pump and a good blood flow. Um, and then I moved on to uh, this workout. I was focused on my inclined chest in the beginning instead of flat bench so uh, I did one warm-up set of just the bar and uh, about 20 reps getting the blood flow in just really getting at it um, and then we moved on to two sets of heavy weight so what I do is because I'm cutting right now I do two sets of heavy weight and then I do two sets of low weight high reps which that way I don't lose my strength when I'm cutting you know I'm trying to keep my strength um, and and watch my strength and measure it as it's going down or just I'd like to know generally for my own sake as to when I'm cutting, how weak I get. Um, so I did 30 kgs per side, uh, two sets, about five to six reps, and then I moved on to a lower weight and about hit about 15, 12 to 15 reps. Um, and then we did um, a pec fly, the pec fly machine, which really works on like your outer development of your chest and the middle, the middle midsection of your chest. So if you want that split in your chest, make sure you add, you add this into your workout. Um, very vital movement and this was a super set that I did with the tricep push downs so this I use I use a rope for this tricep push down it was my first tricep movement in outside workout so um, I really like the squeeze I get with this uh, rope tricep push down and um, make sure you go all the way you're, you have full momentum when you're doing this movement I went lightweight didn't go really too heavy um, small muscles so you don't really need to focus much on the weight it's all about form and getting your form right and uh, building that muscle and mind of a muscle so um, then we did a decline bench press this was super set again it was uh, uh, just a normal decline bench press to a narrow grip decline bench press which works your triceps um, so as you can see I did 15 kgs per side just really uh, squeezing on on the tricep and the chest um, I love this exercise, it gave me a really nice pump, a good feel. Uh, supersets are very important in your cutting as it keeps your heart rate up. It's very vital um, to add into your workouts. And rest periods, guys, I can't emphasize more on the importance of low rest times when you're trying to cut fat. When you're trying to cut fat, keep your less times low, add supersets, make the workout interesting. Don't just have your typical three sets, ten reps, and then just wait in the middle, talk to people. No, it's all about time, rest time and um, that makes your workout much more intense and then we moved on to the overhead dumbbell tricep extensions uh, one arm single arm um, just really uh, I love this exercise but make sure you don't have all the weight onto your spine so try putting one leg in front of the other that way you can use it as a spring to kind of uh, like you know just like jump up type of thing and then we moved on I ended it with like a push-ups push-up still failure so what I did was I used the ball just a variation of a push-up kind of and um, just really getting as many push-ups in as I can and I don't really train my abs much I should train them more uh, I feel I'm weak in that area so I ended it with some core movements some body weight so I went straight to the roller after the push-ups which I found to be insanely tough and like it was amazing because I need, I need to add this stuff more into my workouts. It's not your general exercise for abs. Everyone just thinks crunches, crunches. But doing these things really adds to the development of your core. So make sure you add the roller, leg raises, all these uh, different movements to target your abs, different parts of your obliques, your abs. Uh, and yeah, so this roller was really tough, man, but it was beautiful. And then we moved on to um, the second set, which was just push-ups, general push-ups. Still failure once again, but I think like, 35 reps. I think because I just had like lifted and stuff, so like 35 reps. And then straight to I did leg raises, 
straight black races. Very important for app development. So make sure you hit your core and your apps. Thank you.